So these were my first dunks in quite some while. Um, obviously, I've been on the mend from a back injury over the last uh, three to five years. It's been just a lot to get myself back to a point where I can even do something as dynamic as this without obviously severe pain, neurological issues, and then that left leg essentially um, becoming useless for quite some time. And then pain. And I mean, that's just the nature of any injury. Um, so getting to jump inside was awesome. I wanted to kind of break down a little bit of what's going on here and try to take an unbiased look at this athlete. Um, it's myself, yes, I know what it felt like. And what it felt like was awkward. It felt um, kind of clunky and it felt, I did not have confidence. And I can tell and I knew this was something to expect when I tried to kind of roll back into dunking. Yeah, I got a few dunks in. I gave you an example here of probably the, the cleanest and best dunk that went in that day. I back rimmed some windmills and really felt heavy. I mean, I'm 209 pounds right now. I'm still heavy for what I need to be able to jump comfortably and safely at. I'd like to say probably another 10 pounds um, of just sheer mass. And then obviously from a composition standpoint, we're gonna continue to lose body fat and taper down. You can see I'm thick, I'm big. I'm watching back the footage and like my legs are enormous. I have been through a huge strength block. So watching this has been interesting, but Taking a look at the jump itself, you know, what I'm seeing really is a little bit of timing issues for sure with um, takeoff and then obviously just trusting that left side block. It's coming down a little bit out of time and it's, you know, I'm, I'm such a dependent athlete on speed to be able to get that elastic recoil. And as I get older, obviously the joints take a bigger beating. So we're finding out how to find that balance and uh, also moderate expectation. Because at the end of the day, I'll be 37 this year. I'm not a 27 year old pro dunker anymore. So for me, you know, watching this, I'm like, ah, it's garbage. But in reality, I'm still in a very small, you know, percentage of people that are able to do this regardless of age. So I'm happy the progress is gonna continue to move forward. And I appreciate all of you for watching along thus far. But hey, till the next time, I've tried to get this gym again, but it's completely booked up right now with COVID stuff all the way until April. So we're gonna continue back into training. We'll try to uh, you know, find some gyms in the meantime, but other than that, it's commitment, trusting the process and moving forward. So one last thing, if you're looking to take your training to kind of that next level, if you've been inspired by my journey and you're looking for something new, our remote training app is definitely the place to start. Our athletes are well taken care of, programs, tracking, communication with us, the coaches, all for less than a dollar a day. So that link's in the profile if you wanna check it out. And uh, if you do, we'll see you on the inside. Be right there with you. Let's get after it.